of all the players playing hockey in the world today, they're the only ones that are doing this. For some of Canada's biggest hockey fans, it sounds like heaven on earth. Living inside an arena in a personal suite for three months. Well, that's exactly what the season will look like for the Red Deer Rebels of the WHL. Due to Alberta's COVID-19 restrictions, a decision was made to have players live together inside of their home rink for the next 90 days. I think all of us are all pretty excited. Um, it's definitely, like you said, once in a lifetime experience. We're going to look back on it. It's going to be a pretty cool experience telling our kids and their family kind of what happened through these 90 days. Players decorated their suites to create their own version of a bedroom. They each have their own space as if they were still living at their billets or in their own homes. Kind of like a dorm room set up pretty much. Kind of uh, everything you need and then we can bring our own TVs and gaming consoles and whatever we want to uh, just stay busy when we're in there at night. They're living in Taj Mahal right now, so and uh, it's like a palace for them, and they're loving it. So it's uh, it's been really good. The arena was set up so players had access to multiple activities: a makeshift basketball court, a ping pong area, and a lounging area for card and board games are just a few of those. Yeah, I think by the end of these three months, I'm going to be pretty good at ping pong. Yeah, I just think for me, playing basketball, playing 21 or bump or something, going out with. Uh, other players and the staff and when they jump in once in a while so head coach brent sutter says living in the arena was the best choice for his team when it came to their mental health they really want to stay here so they could be together and uh and spend time together and do things together because if they're in the billets the way it works with protocols is that uh, it's either at the rink or inside the billets house, you can't go anywhere else in the city. It's been almost two weeks now since the team entered their bubble. Players say they already have a tighter knit crew. Whether it's ping pong or basketball, everyone's kind of competing and competing lightly and kind of getting to know each other. And even the practices we've had, we've kind of gotten into more team based practices. And I think it's already starting to translate onto the ice. The WHL season is set to start February 26th. From Edmonton, Bailey Nitty, City News.